In this lesson, we're going to do uh, just a couple more labels to add to our program, and then we'll also start looking at images. So the first thing um, we we're going to do is just add a wee bit more to what we've got already. So at the moment, if I run this module, you see that I've got title up here and this scoreboard on the right. So we're going to um, put something in the center, which would have, say, the question number and then a box for the question as well. Okay, so we will uh, add that just underneath the score. So I'll leave a couple of spaces here. And the way to do it would be just to give it a name as well. So this will be just the same as the score. Score equals label. So we're going to do Q. I'm going to call it QNum uh, for Q number. And that would be a label. And open and close bracket. So label, remember, is with a capital L. And then underneath that, I would do qnum.place, um, open and close brackets. Right, so this, we've got, we want to put this inside our window. So the window is called win in this example. So we're not going to put it in our title frame, which we did with the score. We put it in the title frame here. We're just going to put it in our window. So win. And then comma and uh, we can actually put a couple more things that we didn't put in here for things like label so we could say width so uh, the width of this will be let's say 50 and we can do foreground color which is FG color which is what we put above and we can do then background color oops comma BG color like that and the same as other labels you could even copy most of this to be honest um, with the other label we want to uh, do the font so the font is equal to text and that's probably about it for the moment so I'll leave that last comma off right so font equals text right so to place it um, this time we're going to do relative x. So relative x is equal to 0 0.1. And then the relative y is equal to 0. I'm going to do 0 0.25. Relative width, 0 0.8. And relative height. 0 0.3. Okay, now you will probably need to play around with these numbers a little bit. Uh, the percentages. So this is 10% from the left, and then the height, uh, 25%. Okay, so I've got that finished basically. I would can run the module just to check it. Okay, so it comes up with this uh, box here, like that. Okay, now that's maybe a little bit big for what I want. I want just to have a black box that's just along that top bit. So I'm going to change some of those numbers. So here, I'll leave a space here. Um, I put 0 0.25, I'll do uh, 1.5 just for the heights. And the relative height as well, 0 0.1. Okay, so run it again. All right, so that's more like what I want. Now, what I'm going to do is because I've called this QNUM, this label, um, eventually it'll actually have the question number uh, in here. So it'll come up saying question one, question two, question three, and so on. All right, the next one, we'll just add another one on again. So this one will be the like a label for the question. Okay, so we can call it just question. And it is a label again, so label, and then question dot place. And we're pretty much doing the same kind of thing as before. So window, put it in the window. And this time we'll do uh, foreground equals FG color again. Background equals BG color. Font equals text, and uh, 
I might actually change the background color to something else to make it different from the queue number. So instead, I'm going to put quotes and put a hexadecimal color code in. So you know you can research these things on the internet. So I'm just going to put one that I know of, 30, 30, 30. And then we're going to just do the placement of this, where we're going to place it. So you can see I've got this comma, I don't need that comma in the end. But I do need that one there and that one. In actual fact here, I noticed that I put the width in here for the Q number, but I probably don't need it because all the height and width has been defined down here. So just remove that back to that line. And with the place then, we'll do the same as before. So it's a relative, so it's like relative X, relative X. It's going to be exactly the same, 0 0.1 and relative y we will make it bigger so a bit like what it was like i did before oops did a zero instead o instead of zero and then relative height so i'm sorry relative width first will do 0 0.8 and relative height 0 0.3 so this is kind of like the box that I did before but I wanted it to be a bit bigger so I'll run the module and see what it looks like right so it's quite nice it's actually and it gets bigger as well as you can see so this will be where the question number will come up on my program and this will be where the question comes up and then here I'm going to have multiple choice buttons now, you do have various options for doing these, um, but as, as I say, I'm just going to do um, some buttons in here. So we'll try this next, to uh, an, um, a different, a different sets of buttons. So first of all, before we move on, I want to just do some comments. So here I'm just going to say, uh, label widget for... For question and questions, and then label widgets for question number. Okay, so that's explaining what these do, and the next bit down will be this. Uh, we'll do a next button. Because obviously what you'll do is answer the question and then you'll press next to actually check, to check the question. So how do we do that? Well, what I'm going to do is put next btn, something like that. And that's going to be a button, right? And then next btn.place, same as before. So it's you know, same as this, where we've got a label, um, but this time it's a button. Okay, so we enter a button. A button wants to be in the window again, and this time we're going to just put the text equals, you know, whatever in quotes. And then here I'm going to put, I think that's it actually for the moment. We'll add a couple of bits probably later, but here I'm just going to say next in there. And you could change the font, of course. So you could do the font if you want to do the font. I've, you've got this font that you've had before. You can add that in too. And then in our placement, we're going to place it. I'm going to place it essentially on the right-hand side. So if I run the module at the minute. Um, okay, so I want to place it something like over here on this side. So let's see if I can fit it in. Right, so here I don't need come after that. All right, place um, relative x 0 0.1 relative y. Now I said 0 0.1 but actually if I think about it it's going to be like 90% of the screen so I'm going to just do 0 0.91 just to test it. Relative y 0. 3, 5 maybe, because here I had 0 0.25, so I want it lower 
than that, so that would be on the y-axis, so it would be about 35% down, 35%, and then rel width equals 0 0.088%, and rel let's have height 0 0.1, I'm going to try. So just going to have a look at how that runs, so run module. Oh, got an invalid syntax here. Uh, keep on doing that. There you go. So, run it again. Right, there we go. So, I've got an X button right there. Now, what we'll be able to do is actually add images into these, into this button and put it behind. Or you could just change the color of the button. But if you want to do a customized image, that's perfectly possible to do that. So, we'll... Um, Look at that now, how to do a button, and then you can think about how to do the buttons maybe underneath for the possible answers. Now, the buttons underneath would be, need to be quite long to be able to fit your answers. So you'd have answer A, B, C, D, so it's multiple choice questions. But let's look at how to do this with an image. Now, the way to do it would be to actually have an image that you want to use for the button. Okay, so I'm going to get an image here, and I've just got it here. Right, so here's my program, and here's this image. So if I open it, you can see it's quite fairly big image, and the reason it's quite big is because whenever I run my program, and run, you know, when I run the module, whenever I expand like this, you can see this button gets bigger. So I need an image that won't that needs to be as, at least this big or bigger, depending on the screen, because somebody could be looking at this on a bigger monitor with a bigger resolution. So I'm going to do a, quite a fairly sized image. So here it is. This is the image I've got that I'm going to put in the background for this. So how do I do it? Well, I need to go back to my code, and in my code, what I need to do is add the a button uh, image or an add an image that I can use so I will just put it above here because it needs to be above if I'm going to use or reference it and put it into here so this will be btn image I'm going to call it or, or call it you could even call it next image img so that's what it's going to be in next image. Now it's dead easy. It's, this is the, the function that we need. So photo image. And I'll just uh, do some photo image. And then I just basically say the file where it is. Now, so I say file equals. And I'm going to put an R, which stands for root of the image. Now you can see it's coming up telling me the image file formats that I can use. So um, here I can use the widget which can display images are pgm ppm which i've never heard of either of those uh, gif and png format so this is a ping format which i'm going to use so i've got that actually here this is a button it's called button.png so in the root of this i need to then do quotes and quotes and close the bracket so they've opened the bracket here there's a bracket. So in these quotes, I need to put the name of the image. So button.png. And that's that's the image there. So that's that sorted. And all I need to do then is add the image into here. Now I'll press oops, comma and then do image equals and then the name of this next image. ING. Right, now the moment of truth, let's see if this works. Now I'm using a MacBook, so this might not work exactly the way I want it. So I'm going to run it and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, um, it does work. I've got my image, and as when it expands, it still works, but the text is gone. Okay, so this may or may not happen for you if you're using Windows, but I'm just going to add an extra bit of code which is compound equals center and run that again 
and there you are the text has come back now as i say you may not need to do that but if you if you are if you do need to do it that's that code there that extra line that will just put the text centers it as well um, but it's compound equals now that's because i'm using a mac as you can see and that's had that effect on that so the button the text stays the same size but the button that's the button there now for the like the background image of that button 